Dolly DeVille with Rockabilly Socialite TV. I'm here today with Paul Brockman, possibly the largest dress collection owner of 55,000 strong. I'm very glad to have him today. Welcome, Paul. Thank you. So we have a few questions for you today. Okay. Um, do you want to tell us how you started collecting dresses? The way that I started collecting is uh, I met my wife on the dance floor and uh, I, you know, I liked the way she danced and and of course, when I went to a dance, I always picked the gal that had the prettiest dress. <laughs> and w when we started going steady, to me, it became necessary to have my wife wear a, 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 a nice different dress. dress. Every time. Every time. <laughs> oh. So that, uh, I, that's when I started collecting in Germany. Okay. And, uh, and I, what year was that? Like that, was the a, that was in 1955. 1955, yeah. okay. And when we came over here, well, we, I continued with it. You know, we, we went to the dances, and I still had the same idea as yeah. far as, you know, changing, changing the dress for, yeah, every for every dance. And it came to a point, I mean, when I seen a nice dress, I couldn't let it go. Yeah, you had to Whether it fit or whether it didn't fit, <laughs> I always thought, I well, maybe <laughs> she'd grow into it one time or the other. You know? Oh, I love that. And, uh, well, that didn't happen. That's many dresses here that she can't, can't wear or couldn't yeah. wear because of the size. Yeah. But to me it was fascinating just uh, just to see the dresses. You know, and it got really worse when, when I see when women started to wear pants. That really is what uh, turned me against. It ruined it for you. Yeah, yeah. All about yeah. the dresses, right? Yes, it did. The full it skirt. Did. Right. <laughs> exactly. I mean, you know, when you dance dance the walls and you have a nice flaring dress. It, it looks beautiful. It makes it, yeah. Right. It does. And that is something that that even in, inspired me more of getting Keep the collecting. nice dresses. Yeah. And I bought some of them at, at uh, department stores, you know, like Macy's and uh -huh. Nordstrom, on when they changed uh, pattern, patterns or they changed the, the, the season. Yeah, then you could get them maybe on discount. Right. They, they sold them. Some of them would be reasonable, <laughs> yeah. you know. So, and uh, I had some people uh, that I knew they were in the in the dress business that have called me, you know, uh, if I wanted. So they started hearing you were a collector. Right. Okay. Uh, so I got some of the dresses that way. Mm. Oh, wow. So it, uh, and of course when uh, we moved from Cincinnati, we uh, we moved from Germany to Cincinnati, and then from Cincinnati to Arizona. Okay. And. Uh, in Arizona, I did not collect uh, that much because Arizona, to me, is more a cowboy state. Yeah, you know, the last squad dresses, right, and it's, pop pins, it's, play sets. There's nothing there. <laughs> yeah. So then when we came here, well, there's a lot of German clubs here. Uh -huh. And we started to go dancing. We go dancing from Santa Barbara to San Diego. Oh, wow. You know, it just depends the, where uh -huh. the dance is being held. Wow. And, uh, Again, when, when we go to a dance, I mean, the wife gets many, many compliments on the dresses oh, that she wears. And does that know. make you feel good that your wife it gets does. compliments on yeah. your fashion? Yes, <laughs> yes, oh, it bet. does. Oh. I mean, to me, uh, it's like a reward when somebody says your yeah. dress is beautiful. Yeah. You know, well, you have a trophy wife on your arm. It's going to yes. make you feel good. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, well, you seem like the perfect husband. I was telling my husband that as much as I love that he supports my fashion habit, it's not as much as you. You seem like the perfect husband. What, honey, I want to buy you a dress to wear every day, and I want to take you out dancing and make you look pretty. I'm like, that yeah, sounds great to me. <laughs> well, yeah. you know, again, the, the era that we're living in today, to me, man, I'm not man anymore. Yeah. You know, to, I've definitely uh, heard that a lot from people I have like talked our to, era. I have talked to a man and asked him, you know, do you care what your wife puts on? No. So then the wife doesn't care, right? right exactly. If the husband doesn't They're, care. Exactly. Why would they yeah. do it? Exactly. You know? Yeah. Uh, so, again, it, to me, a man today is not a man anymore. Uh, <laughs> so, why did you never get into collecting separates or accessories like shoes or handbags? My wife is not into jewelry. Okay. Well, that's and, good for your pocketbook. Uh, well, <laughs> you know, I, I've gone and bought jewelry. And she said, why'd you spend the money? Yeah, that's how I feel about flowers. <laughs> well, oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Like, why do you waste money on that? I would have rather had a dress. <laughs> yeah, well, it's and, and shoes, well, I, I bought her I bought her quite a bit of shoes, but I I would, wouldn't know where to store them. I mean, I had a hard yeah. time 
sewing all the dresses, dress. right? Yeah. Let alone have any accessories, That's you know, true, yeah. for for it. And uh, we had our ups and downs about it. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, the wife has told me many times, quit buying. Yeah, quit buying so many dresses. Right. Well, yeah. I just couldn't. So for accessories, you can, it's uh, more socially acceptable to rewear them with multiple outfits, right, than the dresses. So yes, say she right. could wear multiple, the same shoes over and over again, ballroom dancing, her favorite dancing shoes, but maybe she didn't want to wear the same dress and you didn't want her to wear the same right, dress every right. time dancing. Yes. Okay, so that makes sense. I can appreciate so that. So that's the reason I never got into to the accessory. And, I th and honestly, I never, I never had the idea of selling the yeah. dresses. Uh -huh. you know, they were just for a private collection. Right. And I, yeah. you know, if my daughter wouldn't have told me last year, Dad, what are you going to do with it? You're getting older, and I don't want to get stuck with it. Uh -huh. You know, so let's, she said, let's put it on the market. Yeah. And how's that been going so far? Are you selling just maybe a few dresses at a time, or have you made large sales to We have. Uh, when we first started, uh, we hired a lady uh, to sell vintage clothes. She was in the vintage business. Yeah. Well, we sh we sold, I say about five six thousand dresses. Yeah. Now for a store, that would be great. We, I would love to sell five thousand dresses. But for you, that's just a well, tiny it, bit. It, it was, and and it just is something that uh, she was collecting a lot of money for what she was doing. Yeah. You know, and it just got to the point that it just would not pay for me. Yeah. You know, I bought the material. I mean, I bought the dresses. I got, yeah. I had them in storage. I've got this unit right here. So all the expense costs on my part, mm -hmm. and all she did is come out here uh, to sell. Yeah. You know, she invited the collectors, and yeah. I, 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 I made up my mind that that has got to change because that, if I, if, if I go that route, why yeah. not just stand in the corner and give them the work? That's true. You know, if, I, if yeah. I can't make any money on it, or at least get some money back get what I put into it, exactly. you know. And have uh, you tried, like, eBay? Do you have an eBay store? I did, Etsy? but it got too expensive. It's a lot of work, too, to post it, and photograph yeah. each, each item, right? uh, what we What we're doing right now is I've got a couple of ladies that, that come here, take photographs of the, of the dresses, uh -huh. and then they put it on. And then do you give Etsy, them like a certain percentage that... Yeah, well, okay. you know, I, I price address what I want yeah. out of it, and they add their... Okay, I get exactly. Through. Okay, perfect. Now, do you feel like in your history of collecting outfits... I know I've not been collecting nearly as long as you have, but I feel like I've made sacrifices in my life for things because I want my dresses. So, like, traveling, I haven't got to travel as much as I want because I spend my money on dresses. What do you feel like you've sacrificed in your lifetime because of this collection habit you have? Well, let me put it this way. I spend every penny that I have in my pocket on dresses. <laughs> Sounds like what I do. <laughs> <laughs> if I didn't have enough money, I'll, I'd go tell the people I hang on to it, I'll be back. I'll be back, yeah. I <laughs> do that I, same thing. You know, so I spend all the money that I had uh, on dresses. On dresses, That's yeah. it. Did you feel any sort of remorse for that? No. Or are you still, you have so much love for these items that it's worth it to you? You know, it, it's, uh, I, it was, what? Well, I was not here three days ago. I, did you I buy guess, another dress? Yeah, I did. Oh, it was, don't tell her that. No. <laughs> so it, you know, it just sounded, it looks so nice, and yeah. I couldn't let it go. I mean, I it, it's just something that... I feel the same way when you see a dress, and at least for me, because it, I feel like it's a piece of history and it has a story. I yeah. feel like someone else is going to buy that. They're not going to give that care to it that I would. They're not going to love it as much as I would. I feel like I have to give it a home. Like, I'm going to save you a dress, I'm going to give you a home, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sew you up, I'm going to clean yeah. you, and I'm going to wear you, and you're going to look beautiful again. Do you feel well, that same you way? You know, it, it, to, to me, it, it gives you self-respect. Yeah. And, you know, all you have to do is look in the mirror how nice you look. Exactly. You know, and that, yeah. that to me, is, if, a, if a woman uh, likes herself, that she loses that to the world, right? And, and everyone will like her, too. Yes. They'll, they'll feel that energy. It, right. Yes. Ah, so do you have any, say, specific designers you like? Well, me, personally, I love Alfred Shaheen, but he does cotton prints, and you're not so big on cotton, but no. do you have a certain designer you like? Uh, Emma Dome. Ah, That's of one course. Of good. Yeah, the best, yeah. Prom, uh, party dresses. Yes. And, yeah. yeah, do you, you have a few here. I saw yes. some labels. Yes, around, I right? have. Would you have any specifically you could pick out? Yeah. So, you have so many dresses. Do you have, I, I know you have a few favorites, but do you have a favorite era specifically, like 50s, 60s, no. 80s? No. Okay. No. No. It, it's uh, right there. See those? All those. It's, 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 it's,
Paul's going to tell us about a few of his favorite dresses and why he likes specific ones. The certain cuts and fabrics I hear are his favorite. Yes. And I don't know if you have noticed or not, but a lot of dresses are in taffeta. Yes. And, and here you like taffeta as your favorite, right? Right. The I noise. mean, when you walk and <laughs> when you dance, you know, I mean, the, the noise that it, that it gives off, it, to me, that's... It's the best. Uh, Oh, that one looks just like <gasps> Sleeping Beauty. Wow. Let's show that to the camera there. Look at this neckline. Wow. Doesn't that look just like That's the one that's on the the LA, LA, LA uh, Oh, recently. it is? Yeah. Wow. I think it's dead stock. Oh, wow. Look at, look at that tag. Is that... That's amazing. So you have a lot of dead stock clothing, clothing that's never been worn with original tags, yeah. right? Yes. Wow. This has to be the biggest dead stock collection <laughs> ever. This is amazing. So what, um, can I ask what a price would be for something like this This next? one here is 500 That's a good deal, I yeah. think. For sure. Yeah. It goes back to the 40s. Wow. You know? This is definitely a wow dress. It's amazing. Yeah, and that, uh, you know, that's the reason I've got it hanging here. These dresses that are hanging in here. Are your special they're, ones. They're special ones and they've got a special price. Yeah. Now, do you feel like you'd rather sell your pieces to someone who's going to appreciate them like you would? Uh, here. Yes, I do. Yeah. I do. Because, again, it, it gives me the, the, the satisfaction that the dress is being worn again, you yeah. know, in public. Yeah. I mean, it gets out instead exactly. of being in the bag someplace. Yeah. So do you feel like, um, I know when I buy vintage clothing, I feel like every piece has a history and a life of its own, and I'm sort of continuing that life by wearing it. Yes. Do like, you feel the same way with your yes. pieces? Yes, yes. They all have yes. a history, right? That's right. kind of your slogan? Yes, yes. Uh, I love that. So let's see, is there anything you'd like to add for our cameras? Uh, well, you know, I today I feel like that I want to revolutionize the women world. Yeah. Get them back into dresses. The feminine look. Right, exactly. Okay, you I know, love that. And, and we can work on that together. It, yeah, yeah, we could. <laughs> you know, it, it's something, to me, it, it seems like it takes takes a person that really believes in it and makes it, make, you know, convince people openly that that is what it is. And yeah. uh, I, today, I look at it and, and ladies, uh, they don't care what they look like. Yeah. Don't have no self-respect. They don't respect. take pride in their no. appearance anymore, in your opinion. No, when I mean, yeah. you know, neat and ho uh, 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 jeans on with holes in it. I mean, come on. <laughs> you know, Some it, people are buying them that way. They come that way now with the holes already in them. Yeah, right. <laughs> I know. I know. I mean, to me, that's not feminine. Yeah. You know, I, I, I appreciate. You know, I just told the lady out here. It, it's you know, a man looks at a woman in a different perspective. I mean, you know, they look at the figure. Of a, of a lady, yeah, and you know how she's made up. How do you see that in pants? Yeah, you know that's true. You know it's it's straight up and down. That's it. <laughs> yeah. I call it trough, trough, trough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're such a character. Oh, I love it. I'm so glad that I could talk with you today. Thank you for inviting us to your sale and and tell us. Do you have another sale coming up? Yes, we're month? we're trying to have one once a month. Once a month. Okay, yes. perfect. So I'll let all my readers, and my viewers, know the next date and location for the next sale. Okay. And hopefully we can get more people I, in. I'd I, like to come back myself, and because I know I can't look at all these dresses today. So. I know. I know. I mean, it, it's a lot. Yeah. You know, there's a lot. Every, everybody's overwhelmed when, when they see it. Yeah. And I can understand that. I mean, it's. I just don't have the room to spread it out. You yeah. Know, so it's there's just so uh, much. some of them are hung up so tight. It's really hard to to see. Yeah, the real the dress. The beauty of the dress. Uh, oh, well, thank you so much. It was so nice to meet you. Thank you. Th thank you, Paul. Thank you very much. Yes. <laughs>